all right guys we are in episode 7 of the conrad zan player career mode on fc 25 in the last episode he did really well he scored a total of eight goals in just seven appearances three of them were from the preseason though but i mean it's still a really good figure that he has currently the joint top scorer in the bundesliga as well along with pedro gonzalez who is our former teammate in leverkusen i feel like conrad jr and him were starting to have some form of chemistry before the whole thing went down with conrad leaving leverkusen but right now all that is in the past we have the match against bfb stuttgart then we have leipzig then we have Alex go madrid in the champions league so it's a pretty it's a pretty packed month we're probably going to end the episode with this match against bayern so we're going to be simulating this match against vfb stuttgart that a bit at the bottom of the bundesliga so i'm really hoping that we wouldn't have a problem with them at all we don't so we do get we get a break in this match for in the fifth and the 83rd minute that is a really good win for dortmund and that is an extra two goals added to our tally next up though we have Leipzig which is a big match we're going to be playing the highlights of that we got the man of the match award for that match against um Stuttgart just now so let's just go into training real quick and jump straight into the match this is what I don't like why the hell is this a thing that is happening really like if I didn't look at it on time I probably would have got into the match I will be wearing white white and I'll be so confused but either ways let's see what we can do don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and let's get into the match all right Red Bull Leipzig versus Borussia Dortmund Leipzig is the team that I was supposed to go to if I did not see that i had the dortmund contract ready so i'm going to enhance the passes if i went to leipzig i wonder how things would be going by now like would i have been scoring this amount of goals all right so this is actually our very first free kick scenario ever and i don't i'm not too sure on how i want to take this to be honest because I, I know his curve is 91 so i need quite a bit of okay i mean it was on target for the first try that was pretty pretty good but now we have a solo run and I feel like I should be able to get past the defenders here. Nice. Okay. I'm not sure what the hell happened there. <laughs> Alright, so we have another solo run. They already are 1-0 up. So I think this is a much better situation for me. I just need to get round. I don't know why the defender is... What the fuck? I swear to God, the, what do you call it, the responsiveness is so bad. Alright, this is a good chance. Thank you. To be honest, I don't know how exactly the defenders are catching up to me. I don't exactly like the fact that they can't catch up to him. I don't know what the hell is going on there, but I mean, that is yet another goal. And yet another match for Conrad Zan Jr. Next up, we have a chance for a power shot, maybe. I don't know if I'm going to be going for that. I think, uh, yeah, I just freaking wasted that. But the match ended 1-1. I don't know what the hell I was doing there. I got so confused. I, I was trying to pass, but then I was trying to like shoot at the same time. So I got caught in two minds at all. I fucked up there. But a draw is not the worst result in the world, though. We do get the man at the match award, and I'm quite happy with that. Sadly, our winning streak in the Bundesliga is over, and this is what the league table looks like. We're sitting on the top with 13 points, Union Berlin, Bayern, and Bayern just below us. But Champions League action is what we have next. We are going up against Atletico Madrid, but we drew our first match with Manchester City, so we probably should try our best to win this one we got the team of the week in the bundesliga yet again that is quite crazy i don't think we got a 10.0 match rating so i think now i'm going to officially add the skill point allocation i talked about last episode where um if he gets a 10 point match rating he gets one skill point available so i think i'm going to do that all right guys we are going to be in the signal in duna park for this match against Atletico madrid in our second match of the champions league what do we have for our objectives, get an 8.5 match rating, score at least one goal from outside the box, or complete two passes in the opponent's half. We're going to go for the third one there because it's just the easiest. So let's hope that we can repeat the performance we had against Manchester City and even better. Alright, so I basically just need patience. And that is exactly what I'm talking about. So I think we... Alright, that's a foul for our team. Alright, that is a good pass from from Marlin, but it just wasn't able to reach me so i guess it wasn't really that good a pass but it just looks really good 
if I had more space, I probably would have reached it. But I didn't, sadly. Alright, so we're looking good here. Nice. Can I shoot? I can't, and that is a good save from All Black. That is the first really big opportunity in the game. And uh, do we get the ball back? Yes, we do. It's with us. Can we shoot? We can, and All Black makes a good save yet again. All right, um, Atlético Madrid is looking really, really threatening here. And they need just one shot. All right, and the keeper does save that. That is good from Gregor Kobel. All right, I don't know what the hell that slide tackle was. What was the point of that, really? But let's try and I keep coming at bay there. Nice block from Emery Chan. And please just get it out. Thank you. And it's to Marlin now. And I think... Please. All right. I don't know if... Crap. All right. I wasn't able to, like, keep the ball. Okay. Nice. Can I score this? Yes, I can. And that is the first goal of this match. We started with a fake shot. And we ended up with the ball in the back of the net. That is such a good goal from Konradzan. That is a really good shot. In between the defender's legs and in the back of the net. Get it out to Marlin. And I think we should be in a good position. To get Adeyemi in. And he doesn't. He's not able to generate enough power for that shot to phase the keeper out, so i don't know why it was that bad but let's try what i tried at the end of last um okay it doesn't work out but that is the end of the first half we had a really good half ish a really good ending to the first half let's put it like that and um, let's hope that we can see this win out possibly add a couple goals on top of what we already have all right that is a good press from conrad zan but marlin loses the ball almost immediately and i just feel like my work there is just completely useless <laughs> all right again i have tried to let's hope that's a good pass it's not it's not no okay but oh my god what the hell happened there we do get the ball or rather we're still trying to fight for the ball and we do get it like, what the hell is that last touch though okay please nice can i shoot and that is just blocked by the defender i probably should have done a fake shot there to chop inside and get the ball on my left but you know it's really hard to think that far sometimes let's try this and see if it will work oh my god what the hell did karim adiemi do there oh my god what the hell is that what the hell is that goal, man? That is just bullshit. I mean, it's a really good goal if it was someone from my team that scored it, but... Brother, that is just nuts. How how was he left alone like that? I thought the defenders were like a lot closer to him with that one, but apparently I was wrong. All right, now, so we probably are going to be drawing a second match in the Champions League. Oh my god, what the hell? Please tell me that's a red card. That has to be a red card. That was just uncalled for. Such a bad tackle. It's a yellow card. I'm not I'm not exactly happy with that. Alright, they have a good chance on Alvarez. But Kobel is able to match the shot. It's a really, really good save. Oh my god, they're taking so much time to just lay off the one simple freaking pass, man. Please. Oh god. Malin. I have no idea what the hell that was, but it just wasn't it, man. It just wasn't it. Alright, get it out to that player, whoever it is. Or just get it back to me, and I will try and find a way to shoot, but... Get it back to me, please. And, oh my god, the defender was just there to stop the shot. Oh my god, that was crazy. That would have been such a good ending to the match, but... Sadly, we draw yet another match in the Champions League. I mean, it's really good that we're drawing this um, really, really important matches against the big teams. Because, I mean, we possibly might win the others after the first three big teams. That is Manchester City, then Atletico Madrid, then Spurs. But I'm really willing to bet that we probably are going to grab the win against Spurs in the next match in the Champions League. Next up, we have the match against Union Berlin in just two days. That is basically first versus second in the Bundesliga. So that is a really, really important match that I really should win if I want any chance of staying on top on the league table.
table i just saw um, something about germany just now all right so we have um, poland then we have ghana away from home they're both international friendlies we've already played against poland so i'm not going to or we simulated that match so I'm, I'm probably going to play this one then i'll simulate the one against ghana or i might simulate both of them i really don't know what i'm going to do all right so this might possibly be a really tough match because i really don't understand how Union berlin is second like i mean we're still early in the league so it's possibly it's possible that they will be second but um i'm waiting for Bayern to actually like pick up the pace and you know let there be a really really tough fight between us leverkusen and leipzig i mean that's the, that's the kind of fight i want right now but we have a crossing opportunity that is probably not going to amount to anything but what i want to do is take this and make a shot but the all right nah 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 you would have passed that a million fucking years ago nice get this back to adeyemi Marlin, you get a shot but nothing comes of that sadly next up we have a penalty we have already scored one but i'm really not sure what i want to do with this one though i'm going to go bottom left this time and we we cast the keeper out and that is a really good goal that is the new celebration yet again in case you guys didn't see it last time yesterday a 10 point match rating i guess the hat trick is actually a lot harder than i would have thought though but let's see if we can get a, a, an assist here no we don't but can we get the ball back out to all right so they already covered me next up there's a crossing opportunity for dortmund i don't know if i want to go far post or near post here i don't know if he's even going to cross it he does but i mean i was already offside you get I, I don't even know why they t I, I mean i know for a fact that i call it miles before i ever get to where the line is but for some reason for some very weird ass reason i always end up offside like somehow all right oh shit you were already going backwards i don't know what the hell he was doing there oh please tell me they haven't scored all right no so we have a really good chance to score a really crazy ass free kick here and that is exactly what i'm going to do he has a lot of curves so I'm not exactly sure on how to do this, but let's hope it does work out. The keeper makes a good save there. But we do end up winning the match with just our penalty. I mean, it's still a a, a goal that we scored. And with this, we literally have a 100% goal scoring record in this episode. In the whole season so far, that is insane. I mean, stuff like this makes you dream about um going all the way to the end of the season like having a 100 percent goal scoring record but i mean it's not possible because i'm going to simulate some matches and unless i scored every single one of the sims that i play it's just not going to be possible so i'm going to um, click on the virtuoso one because i'm trying to get the virtuoso back up to 50 percent and it's dropping i don't know how on earth is dropping i actually do not know how on earth is dropping but the training drills, I noticed that um, you get Maverick points, a lot of Maverick points from, from the training. So I probably should, you know, stop training. I just make sure that I do really well in all of the matches so that I can stay, like, in the starting 11. I really hope that is what I can do, though, because I'm going to, like, completely suck off training right now, unless I see it getting really, really bad. Next match is the international friendly against Poland. We're going to be jumping to results here. Hopefully, we can get the win. We don't, but we do score. I mean, I wasn't going to count it as part of our 100% um, score record because that international friendly. I'm looking at just the professional matches. If we actually do that, it's going to be really crazy. Next up is the match against Ghana, though, and I'm going to be playing this one just to highlight so that we can get through the match relatively quickly. All right, so we're supposed to get a 6.5, copy one pass, and score at least one goal. I'm going to enhance the passing, obviously. All right, we're starting off with the penalty. This is going to be the third penalty that we, we've ever played. I don't know. I just feel like I want to like count them. But well, I'm going to be going for something really, really mischievous here. Or you already know it's the freaking Panenka. And we do get it in the back of the net, which is a really good thing. And that is the first goal for Germany against Ghana. Next up, we have a crossing opportunity, and I'm the one that's going to be with the ball. But well, I don't know. This is looking very, very interesting. Can I can I score? He's offside. I had a feeling that he was offside. But I mean I just I, I just played it either way though. But can we still get the ball here though? No, we can't. Next up is the, Ger is the Germany attack, and we are looking to be in a very, very good position to score. I am so going to hit this one time, or well, not one time, but like you know, I took a touch first. But I don't think that I would be happy with us drawing with Ghana, though. So please, someone. No, come on. 
That made no sense. I wasn't taking touch first. I wasn't really. I wasn't even expecting him to to play like that. All right. Please, 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 please. Nice touch shots and keeper saved it. Oh my god. The one time I decided to take a touch, the keeper freaking saved it. And we do win the match 1-0. We score yet again. So, I mean, even with the international friendlies, our 100% record is still there. All right, we have Borussia Mönchengladbach first. And they are sixth in the league. So, that is going to be a, a pretty interesting match. Oh, I'm not going to do the trading. I plan on sacking that up completely. And then, I'm going to go for the Virtuoso with this. Just 40 Virtuoso points. And we are good with that. I'm going to be playing the highlights for this. I just want to change the kits real quick. I just need to change the kits real quick. I don't know why I can't speak English for some reason. What the hell am I doing? <laughs> All right, so I just need to change the kits to our black one. Six point five match rating, obviously score at least one goal and complete one pass. That's what I am going to enhance. All right, starting off with a crossing opportunity, and we look like we are going to be in a really good position here. What the hell is that? This game has started again. This game has actually started again. What the hell is that? Let me guess. This one is going to go all the way out to the end too. Let me guess. It does it, but he just misses it on purpose. All right, we have a solo run. Borussia Mönchengladbach has scored. And we probably should be able to get this in the bag. Maybe. No, we don't. The keeper saves it. And man, I don't know. Alright, so we have a counter-attack. They're going to pass it to me here. Which is what is really, really annoying. Instead of to, like, wait for me. Nice. Nice. I still got the ball. Marlin, just score it, please. Thank you. Alright, so that is one goal for our team. And I think it's 1-1. One, one. The scoreboard is glitched up. But we have probably one more chance. And it's a solo run for me. So if we do score this, we win it for our team. So we absolutely, we absolutely have to score this. We absolutely have to score this. Come on. And we do. Oh my God. I was not taking any freaking chances there. That was a fucking rocket. <laughs> what the hell? That is such a good goal. I wish I could actually see the replay. Okay, I actually can't after the match is over. Yeah, that is just all shades of crazy. I did not even chill at all. I just blasted it. And the keeper, <laughs> keeper had no chance there. I was not taking any chances, to be honest. But that's a good win against Borussia Mönchengladbach. Wait, just to be sure, did I actually win that match, though? Just to be sure. I need to be sure I won that match. Because, I mean, this game can be crazy sometimes. So, we did win it 2-1. That is good. We are still on top. Leverkusen is chasing right behind us. That is exactly what I wanted to see. Bayern is just one point behind them in 13. And well, I mean, there is might in between the two teams. Well, I need Bayern to actually like step up a little bit. I'm going to play this match against Spurs because I really am interested in the Champions League. I want to, you know, what? I'm going to. Sorry, I'm going to play the highlights for it, and then I'm going to play the match against against um, what do you call them, Bayern. All right, so I am actually still looking for my 10 point match rating or my hat trick. Those are the only two ways that we can actually get skill points in between the seasons. I, I mean, unless we get like a Ballon d'Or, which is not happening this season and well the trophies as well all right so first order of business here is a counter attack i'm really hoping that they are not oh my god oh my fucking god i'm going to lose my shit like it makes no sense for them to pass it to me all the freaking time i think that was too much power but oh my god that was so good that would have been that would have been a really good assist but we have a crossing opportunity here and it looks like adami might be able to find me hopefully hopefully nice shoot it and that is a really good shot i don't know we're trying to like do a lot of assists here for some reason Spurs have already scored a goal and that is i don't like that i don't like that i don't like that i don't like that all right gets back to me Malin. nice can i score i can't oh i can't that was so close that was so close, but now we have a solo run. I am expecting to score this goal. I am not expecting anybody in freaking Spurs to be able to catch me in a in a one-on-one -on -one race. No, they can't. And I freaking score it. And that is one more goal in our tally. Our 100% record is still intact. And I hope that we have one more chance to win this match. No, we don't. All right, so that is our first loss in the Champions League. And it came from the team that I really wasn't expecting to lose against. 
that is quite sad that is quite annoying it's really fucking annoying to be honest but nothing we can do about it all right so in the champions league i'm not too sure but i believe that is the top 16 that go through or is it like some sort of playoff phase that i don't know about i believe there is i don't know really i still haven't like figured out how the thing works but next up we have our final match of the game which is the match against Bayern. it's going to be a pretty big one now that i think about it i probably should have played the spurs one because i mean it's just we have more to lose in the champions league than we do in the bundesliga but i mean it's already been done let's just go into the match i hope that we can get yet another win against Bayern. we haven't faced them in dortmund yet but I really have high hopes for this Dortmund side against Bayern. All right, so this is a really important match. We need a win here. And I hope we can actually get one. Nice. All right, so we have a chance. And of course, of course, of course that happens. I mean, I was even offside, but there's just no points. There's just no points. And that is brilliant. That is such a good pass. But can we get the ball? Yeah, we do. We're still with it. All right, Adeyemi, come on. Thank you. Can we get this over Noya? No, we cannot. But I mean, it was a relatively good, it was an okay pass. All right, it's looking like we might have a chance for a counter. It doesn't work out, but Kobo does get the ball. Let's go all the way out wide here so we can like progress. Oh my god, I do not understand. I never understand what the fuck that first touch is about. Like, it's so annoying nice that is really good from conrad and we are through maybe you no know, the defender gets the better of us i need to learn to, to like hold the L lt button because i feel like that wouldn't have happened if i was holding it get it to adeyemi and we just can't make that pass as easy as it was i right, know a lot has actually happened in the first half it's just been a lot of back and forth but i'm really hoping that this doesn't actually end in a goal and that is a good save from Kobo. but we haven't really had a good half We've had a 5.0. That is so bad. The last time we had a 5.0, it was in the finals against Bayern in the DFB Pokal. And then we came back guns blazing in the second half. And, you know, I think I think we should be able to do that again this time around. I swear to God, I've never seen a match fly by so fast like this ever since I started this series. But I don't know. It's not looking like anything's going to happen. But I really hope that I don't just drink that. That's a really good um, defensive work from the team there. All right, Karim Adeyemi, that is good. Can I keep this? And we wait up with the ball. And please score it. Oh my God, he does score it. And that is the first goal of the match right after I said that. Right after I freaking said that. We deserve that goal. We've done so well. And we keep our 100% record. I think that's the most important thing to me right now. But, I mean, if we can keep this lead, we are in our own stadium. So we should be able to beat Bayern easy here. We should be able to keep this lead. Hopefully... Dortmund do not fuck this up. The defense doesn't fuck this up. But I mean, that was really close. I mean, he made a really bad touch there again. But I mean, he was able to like catch up to it with his pace. And oh, that is a really good goal. All right. You guys need to hold Musiala here as best as you can. Do not let him do anything. And that is a good save from Kobel. I think that will stay in. Please just play it out. Thank you. We're going to get this out wide. But we can't really get the, the header against whoever that was. I just didn't want them to oh my god all right that's good i just didn't want them to like do anything stupid and lose the ball in in, in our own half especially in our own box so i don't have to like hope for the pass immediately all right back to our dme nice can we support him we definitely can and he doesn't he's not able to make the pass towards us nice but we couldn't like saw our feet out there all right marlin please score it please score it yes you do and that is two nil we did the exact same thing that we did in our very first promotional match and we have gotten Marlin his hat trick celebrating with the mask score that's actually the first time i've seen this it looks really really good oh no don't let Byron score don't let k score and that is a really good save from Kobo. all right we have a corner attack time for a counter attack hopefully oh i'm going to get this subbed out all right so that is pretty much the end of our match end of the episode as well so i mean it's a really good match against Bayern. let's hope that we actually do see it out to the end i really hope that that is the case though and yes we're able to see it out a 2-0 win against Bayern. that is a really really good result there. that's actually that has to be like the best result of the first half of the season Cobell, great to see my name at the top of the clean sheet charts um, big credit goes to the defenders in, the, in front of me though absolutely incredible i mean five clean sheets in eight, eight matches goes considered three 
I mean, that's actually a really, really good game. So, post how happy you are that the team delivered in a game that means so much to the fans. Exactly. That is a very, very big derby that we were successful in. Derby matches are never easy. FC Bayern Munich was defeated or required a lot of preparation to achieve that. That was actually a really good match. Next up is the DFB Pokal fixture against Borussia Mönchengladbach. Then we are sitting pretty at the top of the league. Bayern has dropped down to ninth position. That is quite shocking. We are still on 13 points. I think they lost the match they played before they played us. Leverkusen is still on our tail though. They are a team that I actually really want to play. I'm actually really curious as when we are going to play them by the way. It's definitely going to be next month. Alright, so it's going to be next episode. We're going to be going up against our own team. And that is probably going to be the highlight of next episode. Oh, and by the way, this is the new celebration that we're using for today that begs the name, but it's actually this one where you like put your two um fists together. And I'm, I mean, I think it's really cool. So yeah, we're pretty much at the end of the episode. Conrad Jr. has 10 goals in just eight appearances in the Bundesliga. Then overall, he has 16 goals and four assists. That is 20 goal contributions in 14 appearances. That is just absolutely insane. He still has his 100% goal scoring record, which I think is like blowing my mind. The fact that I've scored in every single match since the beginning of the season. I mean, that is just supposed to like boost his, his rating, to be honest. But I'm going to keep to my word. Only when I score a hat trick or I get a 10 point zero match rating or I win an individual award or a trophy. So that's the end of the episode. If you have enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace. Been trying to change what I